With the 14th overall pick in the NFL draft, the Baltimore Ravens select safety Kyle Hamilton. I remember watching this live and um, just thinking, wow, that is a very interesting pick um, and one that I necessarily I didn't see it coming. I didn't see it coming. We had so many. Uh, well, we had a yeah, significant amount of questions from subscribers where people were like, what if Kyle Hamilton is there? Just imagine that scenario of Kyle Hamilton is sitting there. What would the Ravens do? Would they actually pounce? You got to feel like they would, but at the same time, they got other things that they need, and they signed Marcus Williams. They still got Chuck Clark. They got Geno Stone, Tony Jefferson, um, Brandon Stevens, Ardarius Washington, and we know not everybody's going to make the roster, but still. But the Ravens were like, hold up. Generational talent at safety position? Somebody that could really be like that as safety? May need to even play him at some corner as well? No, we're not passing on that. Um, so this pick, again, it was very interesting. Um, they get the best safety in the draft. They get him at pick 14. Some people thought that he may go number three overall, number four overall. Most people initially... Early on in, in draft season, a lot of people thought that there was no way that he makes it out the top 10. Maybe not even the top 5, but he made it all the way down to 14. Right at 14. But the, the pick before, the Eagles. Ooh, those Eagles. <laughs> mm, it's a game. It's a game. The NFL is a game, and, and it is to be played and the Eagles, they jumped ahead of the Ravens because they just knew. They knew. The Eagles were like, oh, yeah, we'll take a little generational talent of our own in Jordan Davis. We'll get him right. And then Ravens won't. But, yeah, Ravens get Kyle Hamilton. So what does this mean? What, what, the, what would this do for the Ravens? Well, first thing that comes to a lot of people's mind, Chuck Clark. What is going to happen with Chuck Clark? Uh, the Ravens could do a post-June 1st release on Chuck Clark. They could possibly trade Chuck Clark. Or the Ravens could be like, no, we're going to keep Chuck Clark. We're making a transition to this new defense. Uh, Mike McDonald is somebody who he has been here before, uh, but now he's back. And Chuck Clark is known as the smartest guy on this defense. He's the one that calls the plays, that relegates the plays to everybody on the field, gets some guys lined up and whatnot. So why would we take that away from ourselves? Why not just keep him so he can help bring in, usher in this new defense? So with Chuck Clark, you know, like Kyle Hamilton is going to be on the field. He is, go he is guaranteed to be on that field. And he's somebody that I think it was after the combine. That's when he started dropping because his 40. It wasn't so sexy. So since his 40 was, wasn't the prettiest that's when teams, teams like, oh, that's your 40? Oh, forget your real game speed. We're going by 40. Oh, yeah, take them out. Oh, you really rangy like that in, in, in the games? But, oh, you had a slower 40? Mm, yeah, no, we don't want you. We can keep that. That's why it's so important to watch film and not just go by numbers. It's very, very important. And like my guy Josh Hoffman brought out, hey, the Ravens, they a lot of times they can do pretty well at that. To where they don't just go by numbers, but they go by film. Another big example of that was Orlando Brown Jr. Combine dropped him, dropped his stock. But Ravens saw that, they're like, ooh, we got a steal right here. And it worked out. He became a quality starter, pro bowler. Multiple pro bowls. And he's still doing his thing over there in Kansas City. But back to Kyle Hamilton. Um, I figure that Chuck Clark now, he's going to be in the box a lot more. I figure that uh, Chuck Clark may just be a, a linebacker a lot more. Chuck Clark, um, his role, not even necessarily going to change, but his usage will. I feel like he won't be dropped back as much. And then they could have Kyle Hamilton in the box too. Like they, This is going to allow them... A lot of flexibility, a lot more flexibility on defense. Now, and this pretty much like guarantees that Brandon Steve, in my opinion, it guarantees that Brandon Stevens is just going to go back to corner now. Like the Ravens, 
Marcus Williams, when they signed him, it was like, oh, okay. I figured Brandon Stevens, he'll play a lot of corner this year. Maybe some safety, too, but he'll play a lot of corner. So they got Chuck Clark, Marcus Williams, Brandon Stevens. But now with them drafting Kyle Hamilton in the first round, oh, yeah. Brandon Stevens, he's a corner again in, in my book. He's a corner again. That's not a bad thing. He's a very physical corner. And he's a, he's a good tackler. And, again, the game, it started slowing down for him a lot uh, last year. But now with Hamilton, um, good tackler, again, a rangy guy. Uh, so all, all those broken plays, all those deep passes, that should be a thing of the past now. With Marcus Peters and Marlon Humphrey, hopefully they will both uh, be back fully healthy. Marcus Peters is tricky, man, because I just I, I wonder about his situation with the Ravens. Haven't heard anything about a contract extension. And Ravens, um, I don't know, man. I'm just a little nervous about the business side of things a little bit. Just a little nervous. Um, I don't know. Don't even really want to talk about it. But um, so Kyle Hamilton, the pick, a lot of people had mixed reviews on it. It wasn't a bad pick, though. It wasn't a bad pick because you, I don't feel like it was such a necessity. It was truly best player available. For the Ravens They like really went by I know they say it all the time And a lot of teams say that all the time Oh best player available BPA, BPA, BPA blah, blah, blah. But they truly went best player available With Kyle Hamilton And this can give them a nice tandem of safeties And more athletic safeties With Marcus Williams And Kyle Hamilton For the future this gives them young, athletic guys that can both be moved around. They're not physically limited safeties. They can do more and they can do better. So this is, again, it's not a bad pick. It's not a bad pick. And I think once we start seeing him on the field and they get all the boys together, all the secondary together, and hopefully everybody will be healthy. I think that's when a lot of people who are very confused by this pick and it's just a head scratcher. And it's okay. If you don't agree with the pick, that's fine. I ain't never going to knock nobody for not agreeing with it. Because, again, y'all, I was confused with it. I was like, oh, okay. Kyle, oh, okay. But I was like, all right, that's cool. That's cool. But it'll... Uh, it sets them up nice for the long run. It it really does. It really does. I'm just wondering what it's, what it's going to be with Chuck Clark, whether they make a move now, this year, or they, they just wait till next year. But, you know, again, Kyle Hamilton is going to be on that field. He's going to be on that field. It ain't going to be no, oh, you just ride the bench for it. No, 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 no. He is going to be on the field, and he's going to be on the field a lot. So... Just be prepared for that. So, great player. And, you know, like, man, uh, who was the last safety they selected in the first round? Was it Matt Elam? I feel like it was. But, hey, we the, the secondary could be something special this year. Again, and I mean, they still got Andrew Booth out there. He ain't get picked up yet. I mean, he ain't get drafted yet. So, never know. Never know. But good move, good move. So, and it, again, it's just the first round too. I know a lot of fans are tripping, um, and even though I, I keep having to remind myself too, hey, it's just the first round, just the first round. Let's see how the Ravens do the rest of this thing, man. Let's see how they do the rest of it. So, it um they 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 did get some very high quality players, man. So let's see how this uh the rest of this thing shakes out. Anyway, appreciate y'all. Love y'all. We out.